Have you guys ever wanted to go to Egypt and check out the Great Sphinx of Giza? Or check out the statue of Christ the Redeemer in Brazil? Or maybe you guys want to take your bush plane and land right under the Eiffel Tower and then step outside. Or maybe you guys want to catch a sunrise here in New York at the base of the Statue of Liberty. Or maybe you guys are like me and have never been to India and want to check out the amazing architecture of the Taj Mahal. I will say doing this in VR with the Oculus Quest 2 is pretty impressive and the level of detail we have here is, is amazing. So the big deal about this is I'm doing it wirelessly as you can tell. I don't have any cable so I can just walk around. But I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. And at the end of the video we're going to fly in it off an aircraft carrier with a Cirrus. And my DCS fans, I know, I know we have DCS but I have to do it. There's a mod. There's a, a payware mod and I had to check it out. So welcome and let's get into this. All right, fellow pilots, welcome back to the channel. For meeting for the first time, my name is Jose, and in this video, I'm going to help you guys get set up with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 using virtual desktop wirelessly with your Oculus Quest 2. Now, keep in mind, this is not going to be a tutorial video on how to optimize your sim. I think there's already a lot of videos on that online. Also, I do have one here, which I'm going to leave linked below. So if you guys need to optimize and tweak it, please check the resources below. I'm going to leave a couple really good ones so take a look at that the next thing i'm going to mention real fast guys you're going to need a fast wi-fi router at least five gigahertz there's members reporting wi-fi routers with 1200 megabytes per second that are doing really well as far as performance this one here is noted at uh, 750 megabits per second and it's coming in at a pretty good price so keep that in mind 2.4 gigahertz not going to be a fun experience Okay, so this next piece of software we're gonna need here, it's called Virtual Desktop. I picked mine up on the Oculus Quest 2 store. I forgot it was maybe 10, 15 bucks when I did it. You're gonna need the software installed on your headset and the way it talks to your computer is right here through this very small, very light app on your computer. Go ahead and download this, download the streamer app. You're gonna install it and once you do so, it's gonna look just like this. You're gonna put in your username right here. This is how it connects. So the exact username you have on your headset. Now, I'll let you guys decide whether or not you guys want to start with Windows or do whatever else. I haven't touched any of this stuff right here. I definitely do not want this starting with Windows. I like to Windows to load fast and I'll boot this if I need it. So I'll let you guys decide all that. Going to the next thing we're gonna need, you guys will need Steam VR installed on your computer. This is how I'm doing it. And just so you know, my Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 was purchased through the Microsoft Store. I do not have the Steam version, but I am gonna be hooking into it through the Steam VR. Another quick note here, the Oculus Tray Tool, which I think a few guys have been using, does not work with wireless so if you guys want to use it with your oculus quest 2 it will work if you're linked but it will not work if you're wireless so just keep that in mind guys and last thing uh, you do not need the oculus software running on your computer if you plan to be linked to your computer running specific software and games from them of course you need it but right now as you see in the bottom menu it's not open and you don't need it now one quick thing Open Steam VR, come down to your settings, check right here that it says current OpenXR runtime Steam VR. It's kind of important to make this all work. If that's not there, uh, you should be able to enable it right here. So after that, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Boot up this software right here, put the headset on, load the software in your headset with your uh, hands or with your controller. And then the next step I recommend once you see your desktop on your headset is come right here, guys. Open your sim and do everything in 2D. I do not recommend you guys trying to do everything in VR, even though you can. If you want, in fact, you can do a really brief VR test right now once your VR buttons are configured, which mine is set to control tab. And if I hit it right now, I will be in VR in this menu. So pick your plane, pick your destination, your airport, and then hit fly. Okay guys, so now I do have my headset on. I am running virtual desktop, so I literally see uh, everything here as if I'm staring at my monitor. If I move my headset up, I see the same image, just it's not on this curved screen. Now at this point, there's no 3D depth. Uh, you can go ahead and minimize the virtual desktop app and you're gonna stay with your headset on. The next step is pretty simple. You're gonna enable VR in your game with your preset button. Now, make sure you have the recenter button enabled. As you can see, I'm floating above it, my aircraft. 
And also I just noticed space button did not work because my Steam VR window is in front of Microsoft. Make sure Microsoft Windows selected. I just clicked on it with my mouse. There we go. So now the space button worked properly. So if you hit it first and it doesn't do anything, that's probably why. Now, right now, I think it's recording a double image for you guys, which I can extend that to one. Let me do that real fast. All right, so right now we're on this awesome carrier, which is, it is not perfect, uh, but it's kind of neat. And there's Gibraltar right over there. We're going to take the Cirrus right in front of that awesome F-18. And let me see if I can position myself right here. All right, so I think we've aligned ourselves. Let me peek, sort of. We're right on the catapult here. This software, this, this add-on was about uh, 10, 12 bucks, and it's pretty neat for what it is. You can launch or land anything you want off this carrier. So park and brake is enabled. We're in VR wirelessly with the headset. We are gonna push the throttle past 95%. Let me see, hand on the yoke. Pull him back, release the parking brakes. <laughs> so we were just launched off a carrier in VR wirelessly with the Oculus Quest 2. I don't know uh, if that transferred to you guys, but this is pretty crazy. My graphics are not set to ultra, 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 super high like I normally have them, um, but they're actually set pretty high. Let's see if we can land on this carrier. Now, guys, I know if you want a good carrier, where to go, you gotta go to DCS. Not what we're doing here, we're just having a little fun. So please forgive me for using this carrier with the Cirrus. Anyways, this is um pretty fun. Let's see. I think we actually have to land on the cables. Uh, that's the setting I have selected. Or we're gonna... Nope, yeah, we missed. We missed. Alright, so we'll try that one more time. I mean, this model could use a little bit of uh, help there with the details. But these clouds look amazing. I mean, I don't have any issues as far as uh, reading, especially in this aircraft. It looks really good. These letters actually look clear. I'm running a, a render resolution of 100. All right, here we go. Another attempt. We're trying to catch these uh, cables here. Let's see if we got it this time. Full throttle. And we did it. We just landed with a Cirrus on this uh, carrier. So let me try to set this up one more time. All right, so all you have to do is align your nose gear right onto here. So again, I'm in VR, I'm just completely guessing. Uh, you power up, and we're gonna go outside for this one. Because there's nothing more ridiculous than the Cirrus here in VR. Now you can adjust your speed that you need, which is really cool. So I've set mine to like 80 knots. You know what? Let me take off these flaps, because I don't think I need them. Here we go, full throttle, park and brake off a little, pulling back a little bit here. There we go. <laughs> I mean, if that's not just ridiculous fun in VR, that uh, that is pretty crazy. So again, depending on your aircraft, take a look at that. You might not need flaps for this. And you might not need that at all because maybe you guys won't even look at this mod. Uh, it is payware, but it's pretty stinking cool. Alright, so we're going to end this here with a landing in Gibraltar. Craziest one I've done yet. We might not make it. Five hundred. 
Whoa. See hey, what, this is pretty impressive here. Considering I'm wireless. Not even looking straight when I'm landing. Next level skill is that. So yeah, this is uh, this is a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it was a brief tutorial. Again, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Um, I've told you guys before, but this is uh, just one of my hobbies. I'm an air traffic controller in real life, and uh, I like to nerd out here in VR, share some of my findings with you guys and help you guys out, because I know there's a lot to do, uh, especially with the settings and tweaking and everything else. So welcome to the channel. Be well, guys. Catch you next time.